Do you feel that there is even a technical requirement necessary to do Chisholm the way that you did it? Because it almost sounds like something where if you want to be the person who's in charge of the information security and the management of that in your company, but you're coming to it from a different sort of C-suite direction, that this is almost as, as applicable there? Or do you, or is there still a, a baseline tech knowledge that you need um, to do that? Yes. And I always say career in when the technology, there's always uh, the two tracks, right? You got mm-hmm. depth and you got breadth. And um, what I mean by depth is, uh, as you know, is, is what we call in our industry SMEs, subject matter experts. Yes. And when you have a subject matter expert, they're typically you can only be a subject matter expert of one, maybe two potentially three things. Um, And so you're going deep into that realm. You become a subject matter expert where you're a developer or a firewall or perimeter protection coding. So, but you can also build your career, not necessarily on the depth track, but on the breadth track where you understand, uh, uh, you know, a good knowledge of each component, but the key is being able to connect the dots between those, Mm -hmm. uh, those levels. So you're able to connect and see how a firewall perimeter protection is important, just like a developer controls, just like, and on a host controls. I would say I was more at that breadth level. So I understood technology at various points, but I I wouldn't consider myself a subject matter expert. And so that's what I would say for individuals. If you want to, you can move from a track from a subject matter expert and become a manager and be, have that one or two things that you are, you have that uh, uh, competitive advantage or influence, or you could be somebody who has a breath um, and understands high level uh, in some low level, but you're able to connect the dots. That's the most important thing. Gotcha. And you're able to have managerial and good people skills. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.